My name's Paul Young from Monklands District Council Countryside Ranger Service. And as you can see in the background here, we're at the Monklands Canal, uh, one of a, a series of, of, of relic pieces of waterway in central Scotland. Um, significant in the, in the past, they were main arterial routes between centres of industry and um, markets, if you like, Glasgow, Edinburgh, and some of the major towns and cities in, in, in this area. The Ask most people in central Scotland to draw you a picture of a canal and what they would come up with is probably a swampy little ditch filled with dead dogs, Safeway trolleys and oil drums. You can see, however, this is not the case in Cote Bridge. Due to a remarkable amount of cooperation between Monklands District Council and the local Course Angling Club, this area here at Drumpelier Park has been completely transformed. The council and the local angling club have worked in cooperation to make this one of the premier course fishing venues in the centre of Scotland. Today is Sunday the 10th of June and tomorrow Scotland take on Costa Rica in the first round of the World Cup in their campaign to become world champions. What many people in Scotland will probably not be aware of is that there is another international taking place today and that international is between the Scottish and Welsh course angling teams. Now I was at Hamden a few weeks ago when uh, Scotland beat the current world champions at football and I hope that the same thing is going to happen today because the Welsh angling team which is here today is in fact the world champions. What's taking place now behind me is the draw for the uh, championship and we'll see who is who and what is what as the day progresses. Uh, Paul Young, Head Ranger of Monklands District Council. Paul, when was the canal developed as a Well, here we have Paul Young, who is the Head Ranger for Monklands District Council, involved in the caring and looking after of Drumpelia Country Park. He's being interviewed by Pat Morrissey, an interested party, who has a, a great knowledge of the club and its activities on the water. They are no doubt discussing the past successes of the water over the last three years in terms of attracting anglers both locally and from further afield to this venue, the Monklands District Canal. This canal has incidentally been stocked with approximately 15,000 fish over this period and the policy of the club and the District Council is to encourage the bringing on of these fish to accentuate the angling opportunities for the individuals and clubs involved. During the course of the angling year, the time spent away from home can be either tough on the wives and families of the anglers, or perhaps may even provide a welcome relief in some cases. Of course, the ideal solution is to involve family members in the sport. For example, the active participation in club activities, ranging from the actual angling to helping to organise social functions. The country park itself offers a wide range of alternative activities for the whole family. This will undoubtedly be the subject of their discussion about the future of the liaison between the club and Monklands District Council. In return for our investment in the water. Very good, Paul. Thanks very much. You're very welcome. Richard Jones with me here now. Richard has fished for the Scotland team many times in the past. Today he's acting for the club as a steward and he's also reserved for the Scottish team. Now Richard, what sort of tactics are we likely to see employed today? Well, uh, you'll mostly see 199% of the anglers today fishing a long pole, which is in the terms of 12, 13 metre pole, straight across the bank into the far reach here because the type of fish is in it is carp roach, perch, etc. But they tend to hug the far side. So therefore, we're fishing long, long across and most of the match. There is an inside line, you see an inside line is right next to say where the net is, maybe a yard from the bank, five feet there's a shell spot where it maybe goes down to say four feet, there's a chance of odd fish there. This is a kind of reserve tactic of the wish coming back to that, as you see. Um, you mostly see the long poles being used. Um, 
anything, as I say, if you're 11 meters to 13 and a half meters, which are obviously the carbon fiber, they're not as if they're very heavy things to, to yield. Um, years ago it was, they were, they were like fiberglass, etc. They, they had a very big diameter, it was like a shoe they would use for the clays.